the long and incredible story of a tablet. This is the incredible story of a tablet against headaches, or against diabetes, depression, or cancer. You can take it in a split second, but it took 10 to 15 years to develop it. You may have to pay less than 10 euros or nothing at all, but the drug development process may have cost nearly $1,000 million dollars and hundreds of researchers may have been involved in this long path from discovery workbench to the pharmacy shelf. This long journey has led to a new treatment for your disease, but you may not be aware that it began with the challenge of many scientists trying to know more and more secrets about how our body works and what causes illnesses. But how do they do it? We tend to imagine a scientist working in a lab until he or she comes to the famous Eureka and finds this magic compound that will solve our health problems. But it is much more complicated than that. Drugs discovered in the 21st century are usually developed from a better understanding of the functioning of our body and from the analysis of the human and other genomes. Scientists search the proteins that are not working properly in your body to obtain new targets for the development of a new drug. Once they know the target, they will look for a molecule that could be the active principle of a potential drug against that target. The candidate molecule could come from a natural source, like a marine sponge, and then be synthesized in the lab. They can also design the new molecule by modifying an existing drug to treat a different disease. But all these processes will always require the participation of interdisciplinary teams working in partnership with the pharmaceutical companies. Chemists will search and synthesize the new compounds. Experts in bioinformatics will predict the interaction between the target and the potential active principle. And biologists will test how the compound behaves in in vitro and in vivo assays. When a compound proves to have an effective interest in all these assays, it is time to test it on animals, to study if it is efficient and safe. If it reaches a certain safety level, the active principle of our beloved tablet is prepared for human testing under the strict control of the different drug regulatory agencies. But its journey is still long and it will have to overcome three clinical phases of trials until it can be manufactured. First, it will be tested in escalating doses on healthy volunteers to get data about possible side effects and many other properties. If it is shown to be safe at different doses, clinical phase 2 testing will attempt to determine the best dose to give a therapeutic effect in human patients of the disease. Some of these patients will receive the study drug, while others will receive a placebo without the active principle. And neither the people carrying out the tests nor the patients will know in which group they are. In clinical phase three, a larger patient sample is requested in different countries to further study the efficiency and safety profiles of the new compound, comparing it also with other marketed compounds. Let's hope we are lucky and our tablet is finally submitted for approval to the regulatory agencies. They will carefully analyze the documentation in order to approve its entry to the market. Only if our tablet passes all exams will it be manufactured by a pharmaceutical company and your doctor will be ready to prescribe it to you. You can take it and, hopefully, after some time, if you have taken it exactly as prescribed by your doctor, you'll recover. Still, scientists will keep working to monitor the new drug over years for your safety and will continue to search for new and better drugs. <laughs>